what do you have for uh, Kyle and Rodney? Same starters as last game. Is, is Rodney available? <laughs> uh, supposedly yes, but not sure if he had to shoot around. So um, he had a good workout yesterday, so we'll see how he feels. Just to, to parse this out, I mean, Kyle played so well the other night, uh, but you also mentioned Rodney's minutes restriction. Yeah. What, what led into the decision to play Kyle with the starters? Um, just had to see because I'm not sure if he's going to be able to play. So going through shooting around, you know, Kyle's going to be in that, in that spot, in that position. So we'll see. And I think Rodney is going to have a, a short minute restriction. So just trying to see where he fits best and far as matchups on the floor against Portland. How's Larry? Um, we'll see after shooting around. Is, is there a question on him? Could be. Does that mean Big Z? Yeah, we'll change this up pretty. We'll change some other things too, but that means Big Z will start the center, yes. Ben, what do you see specific to Kyle when he plays alongside LeBron? Um, you know, LeBron gets some shots. Um, you know, when and where to get him shots. I think also him and Larry play well together. Just, you know, wide pins. They can't really switch it. They do. Larry step into the rim for lobs or, or duck in. So, um, since he's been here, LeBron, you know, probably. Well, everybody plays well with Ron, but, but I mean, he always makes sure he gets some shots and um, makes sure he's, he's constantly when he's on the floor. When the season started, um, I, I don't know that you were counting on Jetty or Monte much, but um, they both come from Europe. Uh, they'd never seen anything like LeBron, let alone met him or played with him. Were you at all concerned about how they would adapt to sort of the circus surrounding LeBron coming from a new country? Um, that's always a question, you know, but um, they've been great. I think just, you know, from playing pro overseas for so long, um, they understand. And um, those two guys have been great. I think, you know, Jetty from early on, so he started, started playing just his energy and his effort and just playing fearless. And now Big Z get an opportunity to play, get a chance to get out there. And um, he's been really good too. So I um, just hope we continue to keep getting those guys better and keep building off of this. Do you think back to that game Monte started months ago and how? No. <laughs> no, but I mean, how far he's come. I mean, yeah, he I mean, only played four or five minutes in that game. Just I think um, just working every day. I said with Vitaly, he's done a great job with him. I think, you know, having a chance to play in the G League and just learning the NBA game has really been good for him. Getting back to Kyle, um, he's turned 37 this weekend. And uh, this summer, when you look back, he, he was probably your biggest free agent signing. Um, did you have conversations with him during that period, and what was your message? Um, yeah, I talked to him, and um, just told him we wanted him back, and he was a big part of what we did. And um, he said, yeah, I'm going to talk to a couple guys, but a couple teams, but I'm coming back. So um, it's just good to have him back. And he's playing at a high level to be 37 years old, you know, still shooting the basketball, still um, poses a threat on the floor. You have to guard him when he's out there. And, um, you know, it's good. Do you think you could start him in the playoffs without the concern about the wear and tear on a 37-year-old's body? I know that was one of the key issues for you, starting him all year when you play every other day. Um, playoffs is a little different. I think you get a couple of days in between, um, so it's really not that strenuous on his body. But um, just got to see. I mean, but he's I mean he's done it in the past. And, um, just got to see. All right, guys, it's now time for the 2018 Cavs Harvest for Hunger campaign. Whoever can bring back the most canned goods or non-perishable items is going to win. On your mark, get set, go. Help make a difference in the lives of hungry children and families in our community by bringing canned food and non-perishable items to Cavs home games on March 19th, 21st, and 23rd. It was a close one, but we have a final count. Moon Dog, 215 items. Nice job. Sir Cece, 2, 1, 6. Sir Cece is the winner.